All right, so first of all, what type of equation is five, like what does that graph look like, 5x minus 2y? How do you know it's linear besides the fact that it says it? Huh? Yeah, there's no exponents. What if there was like a square there and a square there? What could that possibly be? A circle, and if there's just like one square, like that, what would that probably, that's not probably, that's going to be a parabola, yeah. Okay. So this equa this lesson says to graph um, using intercepts. How would you do that? For yes, so the way I remember it is to f you to find the x-intercept, you plug in zero for the opposite letter. To find the x-intercept, you plug in zero for y. To find the y-intercept, you plug in zero for x. Okay, so. We'll do that. So x, y. So we're going to find, let's do the the y. So to find the y-intercept, what do we do again? Yeah. And if you think about it, like here's a, like if I do a line like that, what is this coordinate? 0, 4. And what is x's value? 0. Okay. So we have so 0 for x, 5 times 0. I'm putting the 0 for x right there. It's, I'm, not, I'm not even going to erase it. I'm just going to keep working on this. k okay, minus 2y equals negative 20. All right, so now what? Correct. So this guy's gone, right? And then divide by divide by negative 2, bam, divide by negative 2, all right, y equals what? 10. Okay, so now we have 0, 10, which is right. Cur then you find the x-intercepts, so you, you plug in what for what? You plug in 0 for y, yeah, so 5, to the blue, 5, x minus 2 times 0, 0 equals negative 20, and then 5x equals, that's gone, right? So negative 20 divided by 5, divided by 5, x equals negative 4, negative 4. So then you plug in negative 4, 1, 2, oops, 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4 comma 0, and then you use your little lower tool and Bam. All right, so, and it's, they're all done the same way. It's like this lesson, they're all going to be exactly this. They, they can't, they really can't really mix it up on this thing. Give you fractions, maybe? So let's talk about this while, while we're here. Let's just do it with slope intercept form. It's easier. But th I do want you to do intercepts, though. Like, they do ask you questions. They do ask questions on intercepts. So do it the proper the way that IXL wants you to do it. So here, if we have, 5x minus 2y equals negative 20. All right, we want to get it into y equals mx plus b form, because if you have it there, that way, you can just graph it really easily. So what do we do? Okay, so minus 5x, minus 5x. All right, gone. What do I have now? Okay, so negative 5x minus 20. What's on the left? Okay. No, you're good. You're good. So here, go ahead. How do you do that? How do you divide both sides by negative 2? So wait, 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 wait. So like this and then like this. Okay, so then you write what? No, but a better way to do it is on the right side, just do it in pieces. Divide it by negative two, divide it by negative two. It's, I think it's, you're more less likely to make a careless error if you just do it in little pieces like that. So then, you get y equals, all right, so what do we get for our slope? Mm -hmm. 
5 over 2x. Does that x belong to the top or the bottom? Yeah. It does matter. It, it just mathematically, a number to the side belongs to the top, not the bottom. Okay. Yeah, negative either way, but you should just put it on the top. But it's the same thing. But not with uh, with the thing next to it. It's on, Because like 5 five over 2, it's times x. It's really times x over 1. It's, so it's 5x over 2. Because of the dueling guns. All right. Okay, so now. Yep. So what do you, what do you get on the right? No. Still no. We're doing 20 divided by 2. It is divided by 2. That's a 20. Positive or negative? Positive 10. Mm -hmm. And then how do we deal with that? So, is it up high or down low? Okay, so our intercept is right here. And what do we do from there? Well, this sucks. This is awful. What the heck? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, because they really want you to do it the other way. It wasn't designed to do it this way, so you need more graph paper. I'm just going to do it the proper way. So we just go up, up five, one, two, three, four, five, over two, one, two, right there, there's our graph, like that. Okay, any questions on this question? Okay. Good. Stop and save.